Hello, replay viewers. The uh, Wi-Fi at the island became a little more extensive yesterday, so I can bring you some early morning shots from the front porch. There's a few people awake. A lot of birds are flying around. And you don't get to see this, but uh, in the summertime you don't get to see this. But we have a lot of construction going on, as is often the case. Good morning. How are you doing today? So you can see there's a whole pile of lumber and there used to be a building over here and it's gone, but it's coming back. Version two of our marine lab. And this island is in complete disarray. It's in winter mode still. Yeah, there's lots of work. This is uh, the kayak rack. These things are gonna be new exercise stations. Hi, Paul. Um, obviously, <laughs> obviously the, the boat doesn't belong on the front porch, it was inside. Uh, yesterday, I believe, all these rocking chairs just came out of the dining hall. So the person that's repairing the dining hall chairs could get around a little better. Someone did mow the grass recently, so that looks good. And we have some flowers from last year. <clears throat> but this is sort of a typical scene of, of spring here. Um, hopefully in about three weeks everything comes together. And it doesn't look so untidy. It doesn't look too bad here, but if I took you inside, oh my goodness, everything is <laughs> everything is out of place. I've, I've actually never seen it in more more disarray. But they always have a way of, uh, of pulling things together at the last minute and, uh, and getting things going for the season, which is going to be in about three weeks they open up. When the first guy, Paul, I just answered that question. Uh, I believe it's... I think it's whatever whatever that <clears throat> that Saturday is around June June 10th or 12th. I think there's a small group that comes on the Saturday and maybe there's a small group that comes on a Thursday. I don't know, but in a few weeks, about three weeks. It's very quiet here. We had a, a tremendous storm on Tuesday, so there were no boats running, and then it's finally calmed down. I can barely hear the uh, the bell buoy. You can't see it, there's a little bushes in the way. If I stop talking, you hear the bell buoy and all these um all these barn swallows arrived. And it's fun to see them flying around and talking to each other. And I think there's already um I've already seen them sitting on a nest. Let's see if anybody's up here. This is one of their nests above the light. They've been hanging out there. Now that one uh that one doesn't look like it's in use, but there's another one <clears throat> a little ways off that I think I saw somebody sitting on a nest. Early start. I do know they eat bugs. They fly around and, and they seem to get little bugs. I had a had a surprise this morning. I came out. I'm in one of these. Uh, see, oh, you can hear them. See, here they are. They, they're talking to each other. I just love how they go. Brrr. I'm living in these one of these these smaller buildings, and I came out to go to work, and opened my mouth, and in flew a bug. So that certainly got my attention. So hi, hi Luke. I've already I already started work this morning, and uh, made two pots of coffee and put all the pots and pans away from last night, and got things organized for breakfast. And now there's a little pause <clears throat> until I have to go back and do a little bit of washing up before breakfast, and breakfast is easy. I'm in food service just for a few weeks. And uh, the people that are, are cooking this year seem to not use too many pots and pans, which I appreciate. I just love hearing these birds. They're so chattery in the morning, talking to each other. And you can hear the bell buoy. This, I don't understand what that, yeah, yeah, I'm washing dishes. I love washing up. Long, long as it's not too much, and and this year particularly, this there's um, uh, no, it's not. It's almost a canoe rack. This is for we don't have any. We don't have any canoes here. We have kayaks. So they used to just lie on the grass, and I don't know what the trouble with that was, but someone decided to do this instead, or in addition, and so some lie on the grass and some lie on this. I think it'd be easy to pick them up off the grass and carry them, but. Who knows? Just love these little little birds. 
you can hear the bell buoy ringing. There's hardly any waves to, to agitate that bell buoy. But apparently there's just a little bit of a swell and, and it's dingling along. Uh, Luke, are you a carpenter? I'll give you a close up. I can't walk too far away from where I'm standing because I have a Wi-Fi access point inside the building. Luke, if you ever want to want to drop in the spring, you're welcome to come up. The crew over here is 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 definitely professionals putting this this building up. They started the uh, demolition last fall, and I'm not sure when they started pouring concrete. It might have been it might have been in March. They came out. I know people were here in March to do something. Uh, the other main project is over by the, at the sewer plant, which is completely being redone. And obviously we need a sewer plant working before any, any guests can arrive. We're on, the, uh, we're on the septic system right now, which can only do so many. My boat is in the Merrimack River, which is about 12 or 15 miles from here. Uh, it was nice to see last night, there's a little boat that arrived and you can barely maybe see the top of a mast of a bigger boat over that uh, the building with the chimney so a few boats are coming through but oh my goodness until uh, until yesterday afternoon it was very very cold so I wouldn't think anyone's on a pleasure cruise at this time of the year but that little boat might have come out just because they're nearby and it started to get nice uh, we've been running our pellet stove continuously until uh, yesterday and it finally got warm enough that we could switch it off. It doesn't do much except uh, look nice and if you stand right in front of it then you then you get a chance at warming up. Uh, we have some Canadian geese on the grass. They don't live here though. They're they're passing through. The uh, the seagulls take over this island and the uh, and the barn swallows. Or maybe the tree swallows. I forget which is which. But they live here all all year and then fly off in the all summer and then they fly off in the fall. But they help keep mosquitoes in, in check, which is very nice. There's hardly any bugs here. No, summer summer is definitely not here. Um, I've only been wearing one jacket, but if I, if I go down to the pier to help with the boat, I probably will put on my second jacket if there's a breeze. Um, you don't want to be standing around in, in a cold breeze waiting for the boat to come in. I think the birds are getting used to me. They're landing nearby. So this is just a quick update. Socks? Paul, no socks. It's not by choice. I I haven't had these sneakers on. My, my Star Island sneakers, I haven't had them on for two years. And come to find out, the uh, I think they shrunk a little bit. So they were too small with socks on and I had to take my socks off and doesn't really matter. The uh, <laughs> I don't seem to have cold feet. It's everything else that's cold. I need to buy bigger sneakers. I'm the next. I'm next. Next size up. So here's your little morning update. I can't really walk around because I'm gonna get out of my uh, my Wi-Fi area, which just came on yesterday. I was helping the IT guy uh, make some alterations. The antenna for the the. Wi-Fi to the mainland used to be over here, that white building, and now it's over at the building with the chimney. And the link is strange. It goes across to that tower, and then from the tower it goes across the, uh, the Atlantic Ocean, way over to Portsmouth, where you can't see Portsmouth. And that's the long-distance link. Um, so our, our intended lot location changed, and we had to adjust its... Uh, make sure it was pointing straight. So there you go. You're welcome for the morning view. I'm going to scope out and uh, maybe there'll be more interesting things to show you. I'll be back here next week. I'm going home today and maybe I'll be able to show you some more more next week if there's uh, nice weather. So everyone, thank you for checking in and we'll catch you next time.